Okay. Before anybody ridicules me, I'm pulled over beside the road safely, not driving. But I had to stop. I just drove away from a little church, and I have to talk to you for a second. It is imperative that we obey God. This morning I got up, and he said, go. And showed me where, and I was like, I've never actually met that pastor. I've never been to this church. Um, I don't know where that town is. Away I drove. Be obedient. We don't have to know the future. Be obedient. I drove two hours away from my home to go to this little church. And I got there and there's like four cars. Okay. <clears throat> I walk in and there was like six or seven people. It was less than 10. And this church goes live though. So I was a little late. I caught every bit of this message though and the singing and everything online. So I'm driving, following along, lost, taking wrong turns, stopping at gas stations, asking a couple young girls. I was like, you know where this place is? Oh, I think so. I go on their directions and they get me there. Thank you, Jesus. So I walk in and you see, this is where your courage steps in. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know the why. You don't know the people and you don't know if it's the right place. And you're like, then the fear comes, tries to come in. Fear will try to come in. You're going to have to have courage. And um, you go anyway. And see, my big thing is, I don't like being late. You go anyway. If God said go, you don't know why you go. And I walk in and this pastor has been preaching 40 plus years, is preaching his heart out. Doesn't matter how many people are there. And he's telling it how it is. And he's talking about Abraham. And you know what? He didn't doubt. His faith was there and he had the works. And he did what God said to do because he trusted God. Not because of what made sense. Not because of what he wanted. No, because he trusted God. And he heard God. And he was close enough walking to God that he believed God. And he did what God said. It's exactly what this little pastor is doing. And that is exactly what I am doing. And it just brings it more to real that what I have to do is not based on what I want to do. And it won't be for you either. We've got to trust God. And we have got to not let anything else get in the way of that. Whether it be our job, our family, the desires of our heart that are so strong. Um, the, the, the family, the spouse, the, the, the ideas of what it should be, the expectations of others. It doesn't matter. What matters is all the rest of that is temporary and your salvation and your obedience to God is eternal. That is what matters. You, There is life or death. There is um, <clears throat> heaven or hell after this. And what we have to do is obey. Obey, obey. Hear him. Stay in that place. Abide. Rest in him, not in your own knowledge. Lean not on your own understanding. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. Stay in the boat. Even though the storms are raging, Jesus said, let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Let's listen. Let's do. Let's believe him. And let's act on it. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up.